All right, and we are now live. Looks like we've already got some people in here. Let me set it to live chat so I can see who those are. We've got uh, Fishing with Ryan, Angry Rail Fan, Ski Dudo 4, and that looks to be about it for now. Anyway, we got, uh, of course, the uh, classic uh, Dash 9 out, as you can see. Great locomotive. I love the H2 paint scheme. It's just fantastic. Auto Model Rail Fan, welcome. UP Trains and Reviews, hello. Battle 604, welcome. Rio does things 19. Hello. Phoenix Smith. All trains for you. TCC H5 5796. Train Boy Productions. Uh, could be Fell. SP Productions. Glorious Leader. That's an interesting account. Uh, Aero Dysfunction. Jeremy Games. YT. Train Time Boy. Can I have a shout out? Uh, not unless you're uh, 10 or less subscribers away from 50 or 100. Uh, Axel Wolf. Hello. Railfan Noah 06. Trains and more productions. Matt's Railroad Videos. LED lights in that. Yes, they are. Uh, Lance Homa. Hello. Christine Car World. Mr. Cube. Nick the Train Nerd, hello. NEC Rail Videos, how are you doing? David Morissette, hello from Michigan. Wyatt Bridges, hello SMT, got a question. What kind of locomotive should I get? Well, I don't know. Uh, sort of a matter of preference, because people ask me that question, but I don't really know what to say. It, you know, it depends on what railroads you like, um, what manufacturers you like, too. I mean, personally, I'm a big fan of the old Atherin Blue Box engines and the old Atlas ones, because I find they're, you can buy them pretty cheap and reliable, but uh, it doesn't mean uh, other brands are bad, obviously. If you want to get something fancier, that's always an option. Uh, what Amtrak trains do you have? Uh, I've got one of the uh, P42s. I've got one of the FP40s. I've got a Acela. I've got a Switcher. Might have another one I'm not remembering, but uh, that's what comes to mind uh, quickly. Hey, SMT, can you run the longest train you possibly can? Uh, I would. The thing is, is that a lot of people tend to request different things, though, and not everything can uh, pull uh, pull freighters like this. Uh, it's nice to see you live. Thank you, Linda. Um, Fernandez, <laughs> what up, Perry? <laughs> one case up with no videos challenge. Hello, welcome. Uh, how's it going, SMT? I'm well. Connor Wigglesworth. We trade. David Z to G scale. The shout out policy is 10 away from 50, 100, 150, 250, 350, 300, etc. Reed and he. Thanks uh, there, David. Um. Can you give uh, Crafty Foxy a shout out? He's at 185k subscribers. Isn't that a Minecraft channel? Well, this is interesting. Let's play. Uh, Steam Diesel or Steam Bachman or River Rossi? Uh, well, obviously, River Rossi over Bachman. Steam or Diesel? I don't think I can pick between the two. Uh, could you run a mixed passenger and freight themed in the 1950s? That'd be cool. I don't know how much rolling stock I have out of that era. SMT, you do realize that you're not too far away from 20,000 subscribers? It's, uh, well, it's, I mean, yeah, it's a few, few thousand off. I wouldn't consider that a small amount, but uh, I am uh, amazed with the channels become, and uh, I have you all to thank for that, so I appreciate it. Man, I can remember when you only got like 30 views on these live streams. Yeah, yeah, things have changed a bit. How many locomotives do you have? I would guess about 300. I don't know exactly. Uh, anyway, next comment. Hello, seen on an earlier by TSG Multimedia. Uh, Sierra Carson, Tucky. He built a custom, custom old Hershey factory. Wow. I guess I'm not the first. Uh, Sean Gordon, hey, SMT, long name, no CA, bud. Yeah, welcome. Can you run the LRC? We can probably get that one out in a minute here. Uh, do you know what to do with an engine that has seized wheels? Uh, it really depends on, uh, what the problem is. If it's a steam engine, uh, 
probably is a drive uh, problem with one of the drivers they could be binding or something like that on a diesel it's usually a uh, seized gearbox which can be caused by a whole variety of things but uh, it's hard to pinpoint an exact problem uh you know without actually being able to see it yourself those are all just guesses auto model rail fan how are you doing i'm well how are you uh can you run a rio grand locomotive next uh if i have one to run smt start a poll for running trains that would be cool if i could have some sort of a polling system i think uh the go train and the big boy would probably be the only things run on the channel though Hey, SMT, I recently picked up a GG1 a couple days ago, and the lights work, but it won't run. What could be wrong? Uh, the lights work, but it won't run. Well, if the lights are turning on, that means the engine's getting power. That you can be sure of, but uh, if it's not running, it means one of two things. It either means the motor's not getting power for some reason, or there's a problem with the drive system, which could be, you know, the mo motor's fried, or there's it's seized because of a gearbox problem. So, uh, that's where I would investigate. At least you know the engine's picking up power. That's always a start. Uh, what's your least favorite brand? I think my least favorite brand is probably Bachman. Um, it, I, they were actually one of my favorite brands a few years ago. Uh, but the thing is, is that I find they're just pricing their stuff way too high for what they're selling. And uh, I can't say, uh, in my experience, I've had a great track record with their products. A lot of Bachman engines that I've bought have had a lot of problems, uh, particularly in the gearbox department. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't, I don't find they're, uh, they're worth it really anymore. So it's, it's pretty rare that I buy Bachman products, at least uh, new. Um, yeah, they're, uh, I'd, I'd put them at the bottom. If they were pricing their stuff lower, I'd probably be one of their uh, biggest fans. But, yeah, it's their choice. Can you put Spaceball 1 on? I wish I could run that one. Unfortunately, the bands are uh, gone on it there, so I uh, can't run that one at the moment. But I will run the uh, LRC. Uh... What have you been doing during, during, during the blank? Uh, pretty much the same stuff, if I'm honest. I mean, it's like, uh, I don't know. I spend a, a lot of time down here and stuff like that. So uh, when uh, people got into uh, a bit of a lockdown there, it really wasn't too much of an issue for uh, an entertainment standpoint for me there because I was already spending a lot of time down here. But, uh, I mean, life is different, just as it has been for everyone. Uh, just here, there, the loco you're running. Uh, that's a uh, that was a Cato engine right there, and uh, what we're about to run next is a uh, Rapido engine, as you can see. Blue Goose, please. I guess I can run that one once, but uh, it hasn't been lubricated, and I find every time I run it, it sounds like it's running rougher. So I think if I'm not careful, I'm gonna end up um, breaking what I've got set up. Do you have any PC locos? Uh, I've got some of the old President's Choice ones though. Uh, they're uh, Mahanos though. They were sold for President's Choice, but they're all made by Mahano, which is also IHC. Um, can you run a switcher? We can definitely get one of those going. We'll get to this running first, though. have to uh, locate my uh, two LRC cars first, though. I have no idea where those are at the moment. Uh, let me have a quick look. Uh, SMT, the most cursed thing I've seen was a cab front combined with an F7. Yeah, I don't know. So there's some there's some creative uh, creative works of art out there, you could say. Well, I can't seem to uh, locate the LRC cars, so we're gonna do something very cursed on the SMT channel. We're gonna hook a freight train right up to an LRC locomotive. I mean, I know this is terrible, but it has to be done. <laughs> there we are. Maybe maybe it's doing maintenance. I think Via has some stuff. You're going to be passing Sam's train soon. Uh, I don't think I'll be uh, ever passing Sam's trains. I mean, if I'm honest, too, uh, Sam uh, definitely makes uh, better content. It's much higher quality. But frankly, I'm just happy that the channel got to where it is today. I didn't really think it ever would. So uh, I'm happy with what I've got. What's the most expensive thing you have? Well, I bought the $600... Uh, Swedish engine right here, this little number. So that that's probably the most pricey thing I have. 
The Hiawatha is worth a fair amount too, but I don't know what it, I don't know what its exact value is. Uh, hello. Uh, am I still alive here? Okay, I'm streaming offline for a moment here. Anyway, uh, what brand is that loco? This one's uh, it's a Rapido uh, brand engine right there. What's your least favorite model lo locomotive? Uh, the Charger locomotives. Not specifically the model, but uh, I just don't really like the Chargers that much. The streamlined ones are all right. There's a more specific term for those, but in any case, yeah, I'm not not a not a big fan of the Chargers. Um. Can you run the switcher you used for your layout tour? I really wish I could. Um, not long after I filmed that video, though, I actually dropped it on the floor and broke it, so uh, I need to fix that one up. Uh, will you do this more often? I don't know. No, not the LRC chant. Yeah, we don't need any LRC chants. Look, we've, we've already got as much LRC as we need on this layout at the moment. Well, about as much as I've got anyway. How about the 4449 Daylight? I uh, can't run that one, unfortunately. It doesn't uh, It doesn't work so well. Uh, bring out the Nerf Cat. The Nerf Cat, eh? I don't know where uh, Nerf Kitty is right now. Snowing like crazy in Colorado. Oh, you got snow up there. Wow. Uh, lol, Top Gear's uh, the cool wall, but for specific models based on their manufacturer. Uh, I have train tracks, but a different kind of tracks, and in HO scale, my locomotive will not work. Run the Berkshire. That, uh, that doesn't run at the moment either. A lot of the steam engines need uh, maintenance. I'm actually making a uh, updated, uh, well, basically a new rendition of uh, running all of my HO scale steam locomotives, as you might be able to tell. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, a, a lot of them uh, actually turned out to be quite problem uh, some of them, I mean, the little O four O's, those are never really going to run perfectly. They're just not the, you know, uh, they only have four wheel pickups, so you can't expect those to run flawlessly. But uh, yeah, there were a lot of kind of larger ones there that uh, were also not performing perfectly. So that was that was something new. I don't remember having so many issues, but yeah, what can you do? Anyway, we're going to uh, find a little switcher to uh, move this lot here. I'm not really sure what I should go with. Maybe we'll try to, you know, we, we'll use this. Frankly, I really like it. <laughs> so we're going to take this out. Run an old train. Well, here you go. I think this is from probably the late 50s or early 60s. I don't know when it was made. I think it was the 60s. But in any case, uh, it's, uh, it's older than a lot of my collection. Uh, SMT, I think you should go to Larkspur and buy a German steamer. I've considered it. I might, I might end up doing that. I don't know. Oh, Canada, my home and native land. Oh, yes, it is. Um, can you run an FP45 Warbonnet Super Chief? I unfortunately don't have uh, have a uh, FP45 in the uh, Warbonnet scheme. I, uh, I would run that if I had one. I, I like the FP45s, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I just don't have one. So, uh, yeah, that this uh, I think we're going to put this in charge of hauling this train, actually. Um... SMT, did you read my dono? Oh, we got a super chat. Let's see what it is. Fishing with Ryan. SMT, may you please run a Canadian Pacific Dash 9. Yeah, we can do that. Also, the greatest railroad productions posted a super chat. Uh, they didn't say anything, but they put one of those 100s with the uh, two lines under it. So thank you for the super chat. Serenity. <laughs> now let's get those trains going there. We'll, uh, we'll run the little 040 first, but uh, that's right next on the list. Uh, can you please run a steamer with some classy carriage carriages? Well, I mean, I could I could hook them up to the the daylight set, I guess. This is gonna be interesting. I don't actually know if this is powerful enough to pull this train. Probably is. Oh, right there. Come on, little Mark's O four O. It's struggling. Oh, here we go. It's doing it. I have seen that little uh, switcher in real life before. It was in an orange scheme. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think they're uh, called Whitcomb switchers or something like that. 
Um, oh yeah, look at it going now. Do you have any tips for starting a YouTube channel? Um, I, I do. I would suggest for anybody who's interested in doing that, um, make videos about things that I would say you have a, a skill or a passion for. Um, because I've, ha I, I've, I've had many YouTube channels before this one. Uh, I don't know how many people know that, but I was doing all sorts of different stuff. Uh, including video games, and I, I did like video games, but the thing is I wasn't really all that passionate about it. So model trains were was sort of a better thing, I would say, to start making videos about. Because, I you know, I actually had real interest and I'd been in the hobby for a while and stuff like that. And specifically fixing stuff, you know, there was not a whole... I mean, there are other channels that fix model trains on YouTube, absolutely. But um, I would say when I started making videos on that, there was... Probably, there just wasn't a whole lot of stuff like that out there, so, uh, yeah, find, find, find something you're passionate about. Chase that. Now, anyway, we're going to uh, try to hook up a Canadian Pacific Dash Niner there. I, uh, I think this one will work. It is a blue box, of course. I don't know if it has a coupler, though, so, well, we'll find out. Yeah, no coupler. I thought I have more than one of these, though. Got another, th I've got that, but that's not a Dash 9, that's an AC4400, so, uh, I believe this one should do. Um, when is your next giveaway? I'm not sure. SMT is scrumptious model trains. Yes, it is. Uh, model trains, in my opinion, are more original than something like gaming, where a dime a dozen channels. That's just it. There's so many gaming channels, and, and the truth is, you know, again, like, video games are fun, but, uh, you know, I, I just really didn't have all that much in the way of association with them. Uh, but model trains, it's something that I was quite sincere about. It's not like I really ever planned for this to turn into what it is today, though. I just kind of started throwing videos up there after the Hiawatha project, and, uh, some people uh, turned up, and, uh, well, the rest is history. So I think we're going to run this as a single unit there because of the whole coupler thing. Something feels a bit off about the wheels on this unit there. Probably because it's derailed. All right. I mean, we could also push it, I guess, but, yeah, what the heck. This will work. Well, this runs a lot better than I thought. All right. Fair enough. A little derail, though. I remember this having a problem with one of the switches. I guess not. k smt should try to make a flying train i already did make a flying train back in 20 uh 2019 you don't remember the acela can you please run a steamer with some classy cas passenger cars yeah absolutely i got you the first time we'll uh we'll do that i wish i could hook this thing up to some stuff but anyway fishing with ryan there you go your canadian pacific dash nine uh, now, a classy steamer with some classy cars. Uh, we'll hook the Hiawatha up to, uh, to those. Yeah. SMT should be in Model Railroad or Magazine. I don't think Model Railroad or Magazine would be, uh, would have too much in the way of interest. I mean, uh, I love my layout, don't get me wrong, but it's far from what I think, uh, your more, uh, conventional Model Railroader would maybe be looking for. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think it's their taste. I just build it the way I want. It's not really to uh, appease some uh, some group of people that write a magazine, you know. David Snyder, Tech and more. Welcome. Can you make a train multi-track drift? I haven't tried that in a long time. I have to clear off that. Actually, it wouldn't work because I hooked up uh, the uh, 
frogs there, so they're uh, they use a different kind of power. It would it would cause a short circuit, is what I'm trying to say. I can't can't speak English. I'm listening to bass. Are you all about that bass, uh, David? <laughs> oh, that song. Gotta love that Hiawatha. Yes, it's quite an engine. Uh, I would do more model railway videos, but my latest model very few locos in decent shape. Keep an eye out for shout-outs. I'll try my best. I haven't seen anybody, but uh, there is, of course, filtration that goes on uh, beyond my control, so uh, that might be what's happening, because uh, comments about shout-outs... Uh, yeah, let's just say they're a little bit iffy with the algorithm. I wonder if this will fit. <laughs> nice. I don't even know what caused that. Weird. All right. Well, another day on the SMT main line. Who says the uh, Rock Island line's the road to ride? The real line to ride is the SMT main line. line. There we are. Now, the daylight coaches. Usually, I keep a fourth daylight coach, and that contains a specific coupler. Yeah, there we are. This is the one I was looking for. Can you run an SD40-2? Yeah, we can run one of those. Good thing it did not fall in the river. <laughs> well, most of it didn't. I, uh, a poor Canadian Pacific passenger car kind of went in the drink, but yeah, it's all right. It's not the first time. Are you coming to the Eastboard top when it opens? Uh, I, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, can, can you run a GS4? I wish I, if the GS4 was running, I'd be running that thing like 24-7. But alas, we may never know. Uh, put all of your rolling stock so it wraps around your layout. Uh, I don't know. It sounds like trouble. Can you run a CSX sometime during the live stream? Yeah, we can do that. Run the weirdest looking train you've got. I don't know what that would be. Um, hey, SMT, what would you do if you got 16k subscribers during this live stream? Um, I don't know, take a shot of maple syrup, probably. Run the runaway. Have a runaway. I don't understand. Why don't you open a store? I've thought about that many times, honestly, I don't know. I mean, obviously opening a store is not a small uh, feat, but you know what? Might, might, be, uh, might be an interesting future. I don't think uh, you open a model train store if you're looking to make any big bucks, but uh, frankly, I just want a job that I like, and that would probably be it. So, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's possible. That might be uh, what I end up doing. If you want a good GS4, check out the one by MTH Trains. It's got a good smoke unit and a steaming whistle. Great sounds. It's a little pricey, but well worth the money. And we'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, can you run a Canadian National with the Go Transit cars? We can probably do something like that. I think I'm uh, supposed to run an SD40-2 after this one, though. So we're going to go uh, find that. Uh, have you seen the engines of Amtrak CSX by Winnipeg Railfan? I don't think I have seen that one before. Can you run the shiny Bachman Santa Fe F unit? Oh, sure, we can run that one. First, the uh, SD40-2, though. I don't know which one I want to run. Uh, probably... I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get the Norfolk Southern out. That seems to be a popular one. Just uh, as long as I can find it. It's just like the A-team, you know? Yeah, just as long as you can find it. I uh, can you run the green via FP40. SMT, you should get a job at a railroad museum lake making layouts for them. That would be a blast. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Or, uh... 
got one museum in the area. Just how many layouts do they actually need, though? Remember there was this one time there was this person posting on a subreddit that they were building a layout, and it was really cool how they were going about it and building this great big city, and it actually had a command uh, center and everything like that, and it was built for, uh, for a museum so that the uh, youngsters could play around with the trains. And I thought that that was, that was really cool that they were building something like that. Can you run a chassis system? Maybe, uh, maybe at some point. We've got a fair amount of requests at the moment, though, so it might uh, take a while to get around to something like that. Have you watched Unstoppable? I watched Unstoppable when it was in the theaters. Wow, that was that was that was quite the movie. It's uh, of course to any uh, railroader out there, you're gonna spot things in that movie that are wrong. You know, it's like okay, that that couldn't happen or that wouldn't happen, but it's uh, it's still a fun movie nonetheless. Gotta gotta. Give it, uh, you gotta take a Hollywood grain of salt uh, with it. Can you run something small? Sure. Can you make a double headed train? Random Southern Pacific train. ASMT, have you ever been to the Railroad Museum in Winnipeg? I'm a member of the Model Train Club there. I can't say I have. I've never even been to uh, Winnipeg before, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've ne never even heard of it before. I have to check it out at some point. Uh, when you rode the TGV, did you ride it at Paris East Station? I don't know what station it was at. It was from Paris to uh, some small town outside the city. It was, I think, an hour trip each uh, each way. It, it was a, it was a short trip. We were just taking it for fun, just to get the TGV experience. But uh, it's really cool. I think we were going 312 kilometers an hour at one point. Probably the fastest I've ever gone on the ground before. Uh, can you run the Swiss train you have? Uh, which one's that? Can you run a Santa Fe Super Chief? Well, somebody was asking me to run the uh, shiny uh, Chief engine with uh, some rolling stock, so I guess we could uh, like maybe plant this thing in front of those daylight cars and have it pull those around. When did you start your layout? In uh, the spring of 2007. I was, uh, yeah, six, six years old when this all began. Can you run a s s E1? S uh, I don't know if I have an E1 uh, in the Warbonnet paint scheme. I've got some coupler problems. There we are. <laughs> this engine's so great. What happened to the paint? Uh, this is just how uh, Bachman made some of them from the factory. They're really, really shiny. I don't know why they did it like that, but uh, I like it. I've, I've, I've always wanted one of these, so when I found it in the box, I was like, okay, I'm making an offer for that. Run one of your little 040 switchers. Sure. There we go, perfect. Yeah, here comes that uh, passenger train around. Run the Kool-Aid train. Run the TGV, how yeah, we can we can get the TGV going. That's the Super Chief uh, that came in Buckman shooting star set. Huh, I didn't know that. What locomotive pulls your Go Transit Bombardier cars? Uh, that's a uh, Go Transit. I think it's an F7. Uh, I could be wrong. It might be. Yeah, I think it's an F7. And it's uh, made by uh, Athern. It's not a blue box, but it pretty much has the exact same drive system in it. It's just fancier. It's got the uh, nickel silver wheels instead of the. Uh, Steel ones you find on the old blue boxes. Can you run the two ten twos? I'll try my best to uh, keep up with all these requests. We've got a lot of them though, and so uh, I might might lose track. I'll try not to though. I do apologize if I uh, if I do. Anyway, uh, next we're going to run the uh, Kool Aid locomotive, or not the Kool Aid engine. Sorry, the Telus one. That's what was requested uh, before the Kool Aid one. There, here it is, right there. It's a little bit less. Uh, I don't know, this one's definitely not as requested as much as the Kool-Aid one. 
when I saw this thing though in uh, Rapido's lineup, I was just thinking, yeah, if they make this, I'm definitely gonna buy it. I'm glad I did. I mean, it's so cool. The daylight cars might look a bit bizarre though. I don't even know where I put, I had that extra daylight car and now it's gone. I seem to be uh, very good at misplacing things. This is an, another consistency. Derailing trains and misplacing things are two things I do perfectly. Well, I guess I'll just get this off the main line and we'll just run it as is. I would run it with the LRC cars, but uh, as the theme suggests, I uh, also misplaced those. I wonder why things would be getting missing. There's no reason. It's it's very confusing. Anyway, uh, and before I forget, there we are. Well, it's good to see this is still running well. If you've been to H&R Trains in Pinellas Park, Florida, I have been there. I did a video on it uh, earlier this year. Pretty uh, pretty cool store. I wasn't crazy about their prices, though. Can you run the big boy? Yeah, we'll get that one going in a minute. The F7 has two headlights. Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. It only has one headlight, but I don't think it's an F3. Uh, would you buy a Metro locomotive? I, I might at some point. I haven't planned on it, though. SMT, have you considered making an online store of model trains that has SMT mainline on it? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I might uh, I might start selling some, some merch at, at some point. I really don't know how many people uh, want it, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I might uh, I might uh, see if I can get uh, some, uh, some of those... Uh, SMT mainline hats that David Z to G scale uh, sent me made and uh, I don't know maybe I'll start selling those or something like that just something and uh, and then move move on from there if it does well ASMC uh, ASMT you said you'd run a Canadian National with the Go Transit uh, before the Kool Aid that one I'm trying to keep up with requests I apologize if I miss any there H and R Trains was there in 1984 wow they've been open for a while. The Canadian film stick at yours for $19.99. Yes, the Canadian film stick. One of the greatest Canadian inventions of this channel. Uh, can you do a double header of the two Kool-Aid trains? I only have one uh, Kool-Aid train. I mean, I can double head uh, the Kool-Aid train with this one, though. That's all right. Hey, SMT, how is your night? I'm doing well. Just got back from uh, the resort, which I was at, and then left and then went back to, as it would turn out. Uh, I was in your last live stream. Well, welcome back. Anyway. Do you play any video games? Yes, I play Grand Theft Auto. What a fantastic game. I was uh, out at the cottage there at night. I was playing uh, some Vice City. That, that What a what a well-made game there. I mean, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be the, the kind uh, of my generation to uh, say, oh, I was born in the wrong generation. But heck, the 80s must have been fun if you were at the right place at the right time. Uh, where's Hershey Fat? Where's the? Here's the uh, Hershey factory. Not much progress on it, but uh, I haven't really been at the house enough to work on it. So I'll probably uh, get working on it as uh, the weather gets colder. There, I would buy the merch. Okay, well there's one. Uh, I've been asking for a while. Can you make a passenger train carry a freight train? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll try. I'll here. I'll do it right now. Um, yeah, I apologize if I don't get around to people's requests quickly, but uh, I have a, a short-term memory issue, uh, so I do uh, I do apologize for that. But sometimes they just uh, some things slip my mind a bit. Uh, do you have any NYC trains? If so, can you run them? Uh, I've got some various NYC pieces. I don't know uh, in particular what I would run though. There we are. Uh, can you send a Discord link? I think Nick the Trainer posted a Discord link. If he's in here, he might post another one, or you can just scroll up through the chat and probably find it. SMT, can you run your big boy for me? Because I'm a big boy. Uh, 
Interesting comment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can we can run that. I would definitely buy an SMT shirt slash hat. Well, I get, we've got we've got two. There we go. Nick just posted another link. I'm gonna scroll through. Got a lot of repeat comments in here. Uh, sometimes this happens. I don't, I don't know. They like circle back through or something. It's a bit of an odd phenomenon. Uh, SMT, what's your uh, what's your favorite locomotive? Type, uh, not company, what's your favorite freight car? Favorite locomotive type? Either the uh, P42s or the F units. Pretty much all the F units. I mean, I know there are different varieties of F units, but maybe F3s, I guess, I guess would be one. Imagine if SMT was a gaming channel. Well, that was what uh, this channel was before. Well, not this channel, but that's that's what I was up to uh, prior to this channel. And uh, that's uh, that. Those previous channels have made their way around. They're uh, I don't know. I'm just, some somebody knows what it's called. Anyway, we're now gonna run the big boy. Uh, do you play Train Sim World? Uh, I have not. I had uh, Railworks, which I believe is what Train Sim World is now. I can't remember, to be honest with you. I haven't. Uh, the only train simulator I've played as recently is Microsoft Train Simulator, but even that was months ago because my old uh, Windows XP machine, which was the only computer I could run it with a rail driver, unfortunately went pop. So uh, I either need to buy a new power supply or get an XP emulator working, or else uh, I'm not going to be playing that again for a while. There we are. Can you run a Southern Pacific Alco ABA set with the cars from your birthday box? Uh, I don't think I have a Southern Pacific ABA set. Uh, would you be interested in a Lionel uh, ballast tamper? Is that one of those things where you drag it along the track and it uh, disperses the ballast for you? Have you ever been to the Great Smoky Mountain Railroad? Can't say I have. Can you run a boxcar? Hey, have you been to Sarn... Um, <laughs> where's that, Ottawa? Uh, no, it is a maintenance of the way vehicle. Uh, did you know you can play MSTS with open rails? I've uh, I've used open rails before. I I I thought it was kind of odd, if I'm honest. I don't know. You could tilt the cab of the engine up towards the sky and stuff like that. I don't know if it works with a rail driver either. I'll have to uh, I'll have to experiment around with that. Maybe that's what I'll do. Who knows? Uh, do you know Big Boy 405 crashed in the desert Wyoming? Yeah, yeah, the story of 405. I'm amazed they fixed it back up. Big Boy turning slow up close. I'm probably slow it down a little bit. What's the most unreal, what's the most unusual engine you have? I mean, I, I think it would probably be this. It's certainly not a, a, a typical one there. An amazing place, Harrison. All right then, Ottawa. We're gonna slow this down just uh, a wee bit. Is Canadian syrup alcohol? No, it's just maple syrup. It comes out of the trees, just like we've been doing it for hundreds of years. Open rails does work the rail driver. Huh, well, I'll have to look into that then. How many trains do you have? I think I have about 350 engines. I'll have to do a count at some point. Maple Leaf Tracks made some awesome expansions for PAX SMTS back in the 2000s. 
Yeah, I don't know. I never got a whole lot of the uh, add-ons for Microsoft Train Simulator. I tried to download the map for the uh, London and Port Stanley Railroad. It didn't work, though. Uh, don't you hate it when locomotives get scrapped? Yeah, I certainly do. I think most people in the community would probably feel the same. Train Sim World, Train Sim 2 are very separate from Train Simulator 2020. Okay, so they're not the same. Was it a division or something? I don't know. Like I was saying earlier, I haven't kept track of this stuff. SMT, you should do a YouTube poll asking if people would buy merch. That's an interesting idea. I don't know. I'll have to do something. Please run the O-scale layout. The O-scale layout's out of order at the moment. Can you please run the Niagara? Uh, that's also out of order. Can you run an old train? Uh, I don't know what comes to mind, but I don't know. Let's go hunt for one. Something of the, uh, that one. I don't know how old uh, this thing is in particular. It's probably not even that old. I don't know when this thing would be from the 60s, maybe. I'm only guessing. Uh, Jaden Corner, hey, long time no see. Welcome. Uh, how do you keep your track clean? Uh, you use a variety of tools. Uh, the first one is uh, you can use uh, rubbing alcohol and Q-tips, uh, and that will remove oils and carbon deposits on your track. Uh, so there's that. Uh, and then the other one is you can buy these little track cleaning eraser things uh, for like $6 at almost any hobby shop. And uh, they work pretty well because uh, they'll actually remove oxidization, which is something that the alcohol can contribute to because it's got some water in it. So uh, yeah, it's good to use a, a little combination, I find. But the Q-tips and rubbing alcohol is the easiest for, I think, most people because you probably already have those things on hand. Well, it's good to see this is still running. Can you please run a CNO Varney locomotive? Uh, I would run that one, but I want to buy it some neodymium magnets first. I don't, I've already tested my luck with that motor once. I don't want to play it again. Yep, you fixed it up so well you can't tell that it crashed. Uh, it was running before that happened. Well, it's doing it. Anyway. Find the switch, find the fastest switcher with cars. Well, the fastest switcher, I think, is probably the Rock Island. But, I've got an idea. Uh, hi, SMT. What do you use to make your layout so far? Only have wood as my base. Uh, I mean, it really depends. Uh, obviously, you can just use straight-on plywood. Uh, most of uh, this layout and the other one, though, these are uh, built on uh, homosote, which is kind of a similar texture to cork, I guess you could say. It works pretty well. The nice thing is you can hammer the spikes right into it. Anyway, we're going to give this thing some power. So uh, now we've got a uh, pretty, pretty small train there. Okay, I guess the uh, train's a bit too fast for this particular caboose. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Not bad. Anyway. Uh, can we see the metal boxcars that were made in Germany? Yeah, absolutely. I have them all uh, in my freight yard at the moment, actually. If uh, the German engine was running properly, I'd probably hook them up and send them for uh, a loop. But anyway, here uh, here they all are. There's one right there as well. Not a bad lot they are. All right, then. Uh, now, somebody was uh, asking me to run the TGV, so we're going to do that. 
Uh, hey, SMT, your streams are very enjoyable and inspired me to start a layout. I'm uh, very happy to hear that, and I uh, hope you're successful in uh, starting up a layout. If, uh, it, it can be a lot of fun. There we are. You have BNSF engines. I've got a couple of them, yeah. Got a Dash 9 and uh, also uh, one of those Bachman... 3001 engines which were included in about a million uh, rail chief starter sets back in the day all right then let's get this lot moving There we go. SMT, can you run a double header with modern Canadian uh, power cars? Modern Canadian power. Um, all my Dash 9s are, I mean, I've got one working uh, Canadian National Dash 9, but then the other one's a dummy and then the other one's broken, so yeah. DB Tech, he gone. Uh, yeah, th thanks for that. I, uh, I appreciate that one. Isn't the point of running scale trains to run them sort of slow like the real ones? Yeah, that's what some people do. They run them at what I like to call a train show speed, which is where they're just creeping along, but... I don't know, the point of the hobby is having fun and uh, running them slow, certain stuff, that can be nice. Like for steam engines, it's kind of nice to run them slow sometimes so you can see all the valve gears and stuff moving quickly. But when you got a high-speed passenger train, you know, what it's meant to do is it's just go, you know? So, like this, 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 would, this would just be no fun if it was creeping around the layout. I, I much prefer to see it just zipping around. Might pay a price for that, but... I think it's worth it. Do you have a high hood? Yeah, I probably have one of those. Uh, anyway, folks, gotta go. It's time to start dinner. Taco Tuesday. Thanks for stopping by, Ant and Bruce. Make a F40 PH double head with a small O4O, 0, please. I've been asking. Yeah, okay, you know what? SMT. Favorite fast food place. Either uh, Subway or Pizza Hut. Those are both two uh, very... You go to Subway, you're going to get a good sandwich. And you go to uh, Pizza Hut. I mean, it's a fantastic place. Can run a CN locomotive. Ever seen Big Brooder in West Mineral, Kansas with giant power shovel? I haven't seen that before. How do you get your scenery to look so good? Uh, just kind of go at it. I mean, it, it takes experience, I think, to, to figure some stuff out, but I don't know. Most Woodland Scenics products, they have instructions, and if you follow them carefully enough, you can uh, get some good stuff. That grass texture, you can throw that on anything. I mean... Almost all these mountains right here, these are all made out of cardboard with dollar store paint, but you throw enough of that Woodland Scenics turf on, and eh, they don't look half bad in my opinion. Getting so many notifications about SMT Mainline Discord, I can't enjoy the stream. SMT, do you hear about the new Canadian National Dash 9 uh, 44CWLs? from Athern Genesis 2.0. I'm getting two of them with sound. I wasn't aware of that. That's cool. EB Tech Subway Club. Oh, I got another person, uh, another Subway fan. Oh, Train Storm, I guess, is also uh, part of the Subway. Hey, SMT, how are you? Can you run an engine that has a sound effect? Absolutely. How are you, uh, Marking uh, 401? Steam engine that has a sound effect. Or an engine that has a sound effect, that's not too difficult. Yeah, we can do that. Let's uh, get this off the main line first. I don't really know how I want to go about that. I think I'm just going to try lining it right into the signing, and we're going to hope for the best. D 
Dang it, I'm craving Subway. Yeah, that worked. It was going so fast, it went right over the shorted area. That's fantastic. How do people say Subway sucks? You made the sandwich. <laughs> That's true. That's funny. <laughs> uh, do you have an Amtrak GG1 any skin? Well, I've got some of those Tyco ones. I don't know if either of them work, but uh, I do have one. Uh, SMT said you'd run a Canadian National with the Go Transit cards. Yeah, you know, I did say I was going to do that, so we'll run that. Uh, my school blocked Discord. <laughs> yeah, I remember years ago at my, uh, my friend's school. It was a different one that, than I went to, but anyway, they had figured out how to block Instagram and Snapchat and all the other ones, but my, t my friend, he was one of those, uh, kind of like, uh, te techno guys, right? And he figured out how to bypass it, and, uh, yeah, about every kid in school was contacting him, uh, asking him to do something which I guess allowed them to bypass it, so, uh, I guess it's not flawless. McDonald's or Burger King? Uh, I'm not much of a fan of either of them, frankly, but if I, uh, had to go pick one, I'd pick McDonald's, because, you know, dance with the devil that you know, right? It's like Burger King. I don't even know the last time I went to a Burger King. It was, I, I don't know. I, never been very impressed by that restaurant. Uh, I was going to haul this thing with some sort of Canadian National locomotive. Somebody was asking for me to run Canadian National locomotives. So we'll see if I've got one that runs. That one's a dummy. That one's broken. But this one is intact and it's got a coupler. Bingo. Uh, the Farm Rail GP9 is a high hook. Could you run that? The uh, y Well, I, I would. Unfortunately, I took out the uh, drive system for a different engine, though. I can swap it back if I can find the engine I decided to do that for. I tried bypassing it, too, but it didn't work. Anyway, let's get this thing going. I've never had Burger King. I think there's something wrong with this engine's wheels. Doesn't feel like it's seating right on the track, and it could be because uh, if the wheels are, um, it's not a quartering issue, but if they're not gauged right, then they could be sitting outside. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, take that off the track. Whoops. Hey SMT, quick question. I have a Union Pacific Dash 9. How will I put DCC in it? I need to install it manually. It really depends on what, uh, what you're dealing with if it's if it's an older engine uh, you'd need to uh, install that manually but if it's dcc ready uh there's just a little uh, basically dc decoder in there which is a placeholder for a dcc decoder so if that's the case all you need to do is open up the locomotive pop out the uh, dc decoder and then uh, put in the eight pin uh, dcc decoder and you're set to go basically but uh yeah i, I couldn't i couldn't couldn't tell you uh, what it was without seeing it. Do they have five guys in Canada? I uh, I don't know. I've heard a lot of good things about that restaurant, though. They have one out in Maine. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to stop by it one one day. Uh, have you intended to derail a train just for excitement? Uh, not really. Generally, I kind of tried to avoid that. Of course, they rip off the track, though. That's just because I'm running them like a lunatic. Uh, everything trains 13. Hey, SMT, do you ever think you would get over 10,000 subscribers? Absolutely not. Uh, it was, uh, really quite a shock when it started to grow, and, uh, passing 10,000 was, was really quite a milestone. Uh, I mean, heck, <laughs> never would have imagined. Okay, I think we're gonna have to run something else, because the coupler height just seems to be a bit too off with this engine, but in any case, I'll see what else people want me to run. I think somebody was requesting the 2102s earlier, so we'll, we'll hook that up to it. It'll be an odd combination, but why not? Uh, yes, five guys do exist in Canada. I've been to one in Ottawa on vacation. Uh, there's one in Ottawa? I've probably seen it before. I just can't remember it. 
Uh, hey, SMT, did, did you do a review on the Union Pacific 4014? I have not. Have you ever thought about adding signals to your layout? I had some a while back, but I'm not sure what kind of setup I would put for something like that. All right, can you run a BNSF? Yeah, I can run one of those later on. It's actually how I began the stream, so it's already been run, but doesn't mean it can't be again. What radio operation is the best? I, I know nothing about that. Well, there we go. This is an interesting combination. Hey, SMT, is $90 uh, a good price for six Atherton Blue Box cars? I mean, I don't know what kind of cars those are, but to me that sounds high. I, uh, those would have to be some awfully nice cars for me to pay $90. I, I don't think they're worth that much. Even if they were really, really nice, I'd, I highly doubt they're worth that much. That's a lot of trains. Yes, my wonderful collection. Dream ever since I was a kid, and there it is. Uh, well, I guess this engine has the same coupler height issues, so we'll have to find something else. Somebody asked for me to run a CSX engine quite politely earlier, so I guess I'll run that. I need to uh, locate the unit first, though, and uh, a lot of people want me to run a BNSF, so we'll, you know we'll put we'll put them both on at the same time. They'll work fine as a as a duo, you know. Uh, hey, SMT is a collection video in progress. Uh, not a collection video. I did a video running all of my uh, steam locomotives. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, though. First of all, it, it, it took it, there's 40 minutes of footage. It was a very long video, so I think I'm going to have to try to split it up into two parts. And I was having a lot of problems uh, while I was kind of going about it there. Somebody arrived at the door while I was filming, so I had to cut for that. And uh, I just found there just kept being all sorts of kind of problems. So I'm not, I'm not sure if it's any good, which I hate to say because I spent an hour filming that whole thing. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Maybe it's all right. I haven't gone through all the footage yet, so you never know. Uh, Nickelodeon or Disney Channel? I'm gonna have to go with uh, Nickelodeon. Have you ever thought of adding signals on your layout? Okay, we've got repeat comments in here. Let me see if I can find a new one. Hey, SMT, how come you haven't been testing your locomotives after you unbox them in videos? Uh, generally, I would. The last one uh, was just because the guy said it didn't run, so I just figured I would wait until I actually did a video repairing it. Um, but prior to that, it was because I was out at the ranch, so I, when I was there, I didn't have a layout to test them, so there wasn't a whole lot, but I'm probably going to return to that, because I'm just as excited when uh, I get my hands on a new engine to see if it runs, so I definitely would like to know. I uh, once had a unit catch fire while on track. Wow. I have to go. Thanks for stopping by. I have no clue what happened. An unstoppable layout crew creation would be nice. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to do some more movie stuff. I was supposed to uh, recreate Tough Guys this summer, but I don't know. I never got around to it, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the coupler's going bad on this. Not the... Cato, but this this set because it's weird that it keeps disconnecting with all my different pieces of equipment there smt if you ever play minecraft again can you download the immersive railroading mod i mean i guess i could try i don't know i used to i had i got a couple train mods back when i used to play minecraft some of them are pretty cool actually Uh, don't forget to run the steam engine with the sound effects SMT. That's right. I don't. It wasn't a steam engine though. It was just an engine. I remember that comment. So I guess we'll pick this because it's kind of nice. Uh, what's your favorite muscle car? 1969 Dodge Charger. 
Look great in the, as the General Lee too. Uh, hey SMT, do you like the TNF series? If so, do you like the CGA or Classic better? Uh, I, I like that show. I mean, I grew up with it as a kid. Uh, I like the classic version of uh, CGI. I don't even remember watching the CGI as a kid, but I've seen parts of it. It doesn't look very good, so... Yeah, plus the fact they were filming that show with actu actual models at one point, I mean, that's that's super cool. Do you know about Lamborghinis? Oh, yeah, well, you know, I live, live around Gatineau there, so uh, that's what you see is some, some guy who's got rich, and they zip around in one of those, and they get on the highway, and it's, uh, yeah, yeah, no, you, you, you see a fair amount of those around, uh, around the Ottawa Valley. Favorite car brand? Probably Toyota. Did you drive the Lamborghini? I don't, I don't drive a Lamborghini. <laughs> If I had the money to buy a Lamborghini, I think I'd just go and invest in some heritage uh, equipment. Maybe buy the Wakefield train. I don't know what a Lamborghini goes for. A few hundred thousand dollars? SMT, will you buy locos that represent other countries? Probably so. Uh-oh. Well, I think it's time to uh, switch up some equipment. That didn't sound so great. Hmm. Weird. Uh, have you heard about the Galaxy Railways anime series before? I feel like somebody in a previous live stream might have mentioned something about that, but uh, I don't. I've never watched it. Favorite girl show. Girl show. <laughs> I I don't I don't know if I understand the comment. Uh, no 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 not Toyota. I'm a Chevy guy. <laughs> yeah I don't know uh, if I'm honest. In 2005 uh, Chevy Silverados. Those are great trucks. The farm I worked at they had one of those and and that thing it, it was that thing was trashed. I mean the far, they they treated it horribly and it was still running. So I got to give Chevy some credit. They did a great job with that truck. But the other ones, especially the new ones they're rolling out, eh, <laughs> I don't know. SMT, one day you need to go through some model train mocks as you have and see what you sorted a bit. We haven't looked at for a while. Yeah, it would be nice to do something along those lines. Uh, Lamborghini is $35,000. Oh, I could definitely buy the Wakefield train then. Wow. Can you speak any other languages? Uh, not really, no. Uh, return to the stream. What is this? BNSF pulling train. Yeah, it's a CSX uh, BNSF hybrid there. Thought on the Cybertruck. I honestly thought tes Tesla was, was having a big laugh on everyone there. When they released that thing, first of all, it doesn't even look like a Tesla product because I think they wanted to give it kind of like a rough look. But also, um, you know, it was just so clumsy, you know, the... Windows that weren't supposed to break, they broke, and I don't know, the whole the whole thing. It's got a yoke steering wheel. It's like, yeah, that's going to be real safe if you need to swerve away from something. <laughs> Your hands can only rotate so far. I don't know. And frankly, I don't think I'd want to own a car that has windows you can't smash out, because if you uh, slide off the road into a lake, uh, one benefit about having windows that break is that uh, you can escape, so... Um, yeah, not 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 a not a fan of the cyber truck. Uh, I had some tea. Could you do stream on Saturdays? Okay, there's a lot of SMT. What kind of car do you drive? A diesel, a diesel Golf. I can only imagine the comments rate though. It's phase two emissions. Which means it's apparently green or something like that. I don't know. It's pretty efficient though. It 
does uh, usually like 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers, which I think is like 70 miles to a gallon or something. They're 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 pretty efficient. I'll say that, especially when you're going up a hill. Of all the uh, cars set so that they read out, you know, how much fuel they're burning. And you start climbing a hill with a gasoline car and that needle just moves right through the roof. But you climb that same hill in a diesel and it goes up a little bit, but it's not that bad. Uh, how's the Yellowstone going? I haven't really done a whole lot on that engine, so... Uh, can't, uh, I can't say there's really been any progress on it. What do you think about Jeep? I mean, uh, let's make something clear. I'm not like a, a, a car person there, but, but from what I've heard, they've been bought out by a uh, Fiat and uh, the Italians don't seem to have a great track record of making reliable cars. And uh, I've seen a lot of videos. I mean, there was even a guy a few years ago who uploaded a video of driving his Jeep through the woods and it just kind of spontaneously caught fire there. I don't know, I wouldn't buy one. SMT, what should you never do with a model train? Uh, submerge it. That's probably... Engines that have been involved in floods, I find those are usually the ones that are full of problems because the thing is, if the water gets into the motor and it's not dried out quick enough, you're going to get rust, and rust in a motor do not combine well. Plus, the water seems to do funny things to the lubricants sometimes, so... Uh, yeah, try to keep your engines away from water. I know a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, uh, had uh, some thoughts about running trains in the snow, which could be harmful, but it's just, it's the motor. That's the, the thing you want to keep away. No Jack 101. What do you think about boats? For example, speed boats or pontoon boats or sea doos on a lake. Well, what a big party. It's funny you say that. Uh, I, I bought a boat just a few days ago, actually. It's a 1985. Uh, it has a bit of an unusual name. I don't think I can pronounce it. I, I, think, I think it might be French. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it looks like a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, I don't, I don't like it when you have those people that are, uh, you know, being jerks and you're out on your paddleboard and they're on a sea do there and they start intentionally making waves. Those, those ones are not so great, but... Other than that, I mean, a pontoon, oh, that's a, that's a lot of fun there. You know, I think some people say, oh, something's like a boatload of fun. Well, I think that's where the term comes from. Jack-Jack, welcome, how are you? What's your favorite snowmobile company? Bombardier! I'm a Quebecer, gotta, su gotta support my, uh, my brands there. All the, bomb and the same with the sea and stuff like that, all the Bombardier products and... The story of Bombardier is an excellent one, too. There's a video like uh, the history of Bombardier there. Amazing story. Pretty much uh, a man with a dream invented the snowmobile, and uh, then that formed Bombardier, which has had its troubles recently, but it's got a great history. Uh, I've been wanting to sell my UP4141 for a while. How much would you be willing to pay for it? Uh, I mean... Uh, it's thoughtful you'd think of me as someone to sell it to, but I think you should look somewhere else. I don't really have any uh, spare uh, cash at the moment because of the boat purchase, so yeah. SMT, don't ever run that train through snow again. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what a lot of people would probably suggest Jack-Jack. Maybe for good reason, but it's an old Atherin blue box. It only All it's got in it is a motor and a light. You can't really break it. And frankly, I hauled it inside so quickly, the water didn't... The melted snow didn't even have a chance to do anything to it. it still runs just as well as when I got it. Hello, SMT. How are you doing? It's been a while since I've watched a live stream from you. Thank you so much for joining, uh, Derek Olivia. I'm well. How are you? SMT bought a frickin' boat. Yeah. Time to, time to go up the Ottawa River. SMT, what's your favorite hobby shop? Mine is like the third time I asked that. Uh, my favorite hobby shop is either Larkspur Line Train Store or the Hobby Center. Uh, I really like Hobby House a lot. They're my childhood train store. Uh, but unfortunately, I just don't find they've been bringing in as much stock. So they're my number one go-to when I need to buy anything new. Uh, but for used trains, it's uh, Larkspur and uh, the Hobby Center. 
Global Bricks, thank you so much for the super chat. Amazing, hi, amazing channel, thank you. And of course for the super chat, I have to say Serenity. There's a comment right here. Uh, I can't read it. I think it's uh, in Mandarin, so I, I can't I can't read that one out. Uh, but it has a smiley face, so I think it's something nice. So thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> can you use the horn? Yeah, sure. Let me just uh, move my uh, chair here one piece at a time over. There we are. Well, that's pretty good. Hey, SMT, what does a wrapped axle mean? I don't know. Hey, SMT, I haven't watched your videos in a while, but what trains are you running on the track? Oh, we got a uh, three-car consist with uh, this uh, Indiana... Was it a GP40? Oh, I got to do the right horn combination. Wait. There we go. I'm operating a regulation railroad now. Hey, SMT, you need some railroad crossing signs. They're hard to see. They are on there, though. SMT, what's your favorite steam locomotive? Uh, well, steam locomotives, I should say. Sorry, I didn't read that right. Uh, well, number one would probably be uh, the Wakefield train, because that's my favorite train of all time. But, uh, I mean, after that, it would be, uh, you know, like the 44, 49, and, I mean, if the Hiawatha was still around, obviously, for that. And, uh, what else? I don't know. That's what that that's what comes to mind. The, 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 the six, number six zero six zero Canadian National Engine. That's a good one. Is it illegal for a Canadian not to have an interest in hockey? Well, I don't know. I'm not a big sports person, but you know, at least played it out on the lake or something like that. I don't loathe my country that much. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna play hockey. I hate the sport, but. You know, you've got, you got to be out on the lake there, right? Because you've got a frozen lake. It's Canadian and stuff like that. You've got you to gotta get out there. Uh, hey, SMT, can I please have a shout-out? I'm at 90 subscribers. Absolutely. Everyone go check out BN Brett. What are the dimensions of your layout? Ah, this time I was ready. <laughs> uh, so this layout right here is 186 uh, inches long by 41 wide. And this layout right here. This is some interesting math right here. I don't really know what I wrote. I guess I didn't do the math for this one. Oh, no, sorry. So it's 186. That's the entire length of this. So that's from there to there by 41. So it's 41. So you just, uh, you can multiply all those. And then the, the next part of the math is this uh, layout right here. This one's 49. But this is 8 feet long right here. My goodness, it's double spike productions. I haven't seen them in a million times. It's my favorite Wabash unit. Double Spike, how are you doing? <laughs> Happy to see you in here. Well, I think since we've got Double Spike Productions in here, we're going to have to watch, you know, those uh, two uh, Wabash Sea Liners go around at least once. Well, let's get, uh, get this thing off here. Uh... SMT, what's the locomotive on the workbench table thing right now? How functional is it at the moment? This? That runs. My audio, as for you, is going bad. Is anyone else having this problem? Uh, can you do a shave and a haircut with the train? What? Shave and a haircut. 
It's, I think that's a horn combination of some kind. I, I wouldn't know how to do that though. I'm not terribly musical. That's the dun da 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 da, right? Anyway. Uh, not on my hand. <laughs> what? SMT, I see so many TikToks where, like, you put a finger on a Canadian edition. Most of the effing things I have never done yet is Canadian. I hate the stereotypes I think all Canadians are. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There, there are some TikToks, and they really they really miss the mark on uh, what, what, what being Canadian is all about. I mean, everybody knows it's about playing hockey and drinking maple syrup. No, I do, I do love maple syrup, and even today we were leaving the cottage, and there was some maple syrup left over, and we had opened a can of it, and we needed to get rid of it. And you're not just going to dump something like that up, so I drank it. More than a shot glass of, of maple syrup. There are some, uh, there are some things in Canada, though, and I, I don't understand why they're specifically popular in Canada. Like, uh, you know, we've got, like, ketchup chips, and, uh... Ruffles all dressed. I mean, those are two delicious kinds of chips. And uh, they're popular here, but they're not so popular in the States. So I, I don't understand why, though. It's uh, very random to me. I personally like Volkswagen. Uh, they make nice-looking cars. I like the Golf. Uh, by the way, when is your next mail review? I don't know. I need a... I'm, I don't... I haven't checked my post office box and... Maybe about a week or so. I don't know. It's been a while, so I should probably head out there and make sure it's not getting overrun by letters. Although, I had a whole bunch of people say they were going to send me stuff to repair, so maybe it is. <laughs> uh -uh. Hunter D. I love ketchup chips. Okay, good. Hey, SMT, do you know what the show total drama world tour is? Yes, watch the full season. I, I can't say I've heard of that before. Heinz ketchup chips are the best. I haven't heard of uh, the Heinz kind. I I've just, maybe that's what they put on Lay's. I don't know. SMT, if someone asked you how tall you are, would you give an answer in feet or meters? How tall are you, by the way? Uh, six, uh, six, six foot one. I don't know. Canadians uh, don't use the uh, metric system. Uh, we, we use it uh, for uh, construction. No, not even construction. I took a construction course, and they were still using feet and inches and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know. We're, we're not supposed to... Uh, use the uh, imperial system there, but I find uh, most Canadians do. It's the same thing with cooking as well. Nobody, you know, everybody uses cups and stuff here like that. We use a, like a weird hybrid, but yeah, I don't know, centimeters and stuff like that. For driving, we use, you know, kilometers instead of miles and stuff like that. That's the only spot where I find Canadians really seem to apply it. All the other stuff doesn't seem to be that way, which is funny. But frankly, if somebody told me something so many meters, I'd have a much tougher time visualizing it than if they told me how many feet it was. Which is weird, because you can do a conversion, but it's more abstract. SMT, how many brass engines do you have? Uh, at least two. Now, uh... Somebody wanted me to run that Australian engine, so we'll get that one out. Can you run something on your other layout? I need to wire it up. I, I can't currently do that. SMT, what would you do if I gave you a gift? It's up to you, do, but uh, could you do a video on it? I want to see your reaction. By the way, do you like fish and chips? Like chips, not so big on the fish. <laughs> Hers makes Heinz ketchup chips in USA. Interesting. 
Well, I'm glad to see that there are tons of people from the States who like the ketchup chips, because I don't know if there's a lot of people telling me that it was a distinctly Canadian thing, and I don't know, there's some video on it, so I was like, well, that's pretty strange. Still, the ruffles all dressed, though. That's a mystery to me, why it's the most popular flavor here. Uh... Can you run one of the brass engines? Well, I, th I thought this was a brass unit right here, but I don't think it runs. Uh, SMT, what kind of boat do you have? Well, uh, I, I don't, I don't know who it's made, but I, I know the name, but I'm, I know I'm gonna uh, butcher it. Starts with a C. It's like a C A. Uh, I don't know. I can't even spell it out there, but. Uh, Anyway, it's from 1985, and it's a bow rider, so it's one of those ones where you got the seats up front there that, you know, the, the girls can set themselves up in. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a, it's 100 horsepower, too, a two-stroke. But it's probably going to need some work. I think the uh, carburetor's probably clogged up, so I'll have to take that apart and disassemble it and clean out the jets and yada, 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 yada. But... I mean, I'm hoping I can get it out once this season. It's part of why it was so cheap. I think the people were trying to get rid of it because it was towards the end of the season. So, yeah, we'll see how that pans out. I at least got my license to drive it, so that's a start. Hmm. What is even the number on this thing? 6071. Catalina boat. No, it's not a Catalina. It's like a, a cat, Catarate or something. I don't know. It's a strange name. 6071. Oh, maybe this was the problem. Maybe I forgot to... Yeah, there we are. Serenity. 1985 was the time in Back to the Future. Yeah, I know. I think I'm going to put... I think it was around when uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City uh, came about, too. Bow Rider. Yeah. You can name it the RMSC Minnow. I don't want to get stuck on an island. Back from the taco dinner, what did I miss? I don't know, we're currently discussing boats. Whatever happened to the speeder you and your friends were going to get? Uh, well, we went and bought an engine for it, but uh, never got, we never got around to it because, uh, we had it kind of set up there, and then, uh, of course, uh, we kind of uh, made the assumption this year was going to be like the others, and it wasn't, and that sort of threw a, a wrench into the, the gears or whatever you want to say. So, uh, yeah, we never got around to it, and I also don't really know uh, how the person who currently has it is going to feel uh, about us being around there with what's going on. So I don't know. There's a ton that needs to be sorted out. So uh, Yeah, I really don't know what's gonna happen with that project. I'm still optimistic for next year, but yeah Just don't take the boat on a three-hour tour. Yes, that would be best Because <laughs> uh, you know the weather might start getting rough Nerf boat <laughs> Uh, SMT, why buy a boat that you can only go on a lake when you can get a flying boat where you'll be able to fly to the lake and 30 miles away from the lake, a flying boat. Is it hauled on a trailer, SMT? Yeah, it is. A trailer was included, too. I can't believe that was part of the deal. Have you ever heard of Accelerated by Miami Nights, 1984? I haven't. A catamaran, but it's not a catamaran. It's, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Waffles or pancakes? Oh, team pancakes. Where's Nerf guy? Go get him, he's so cute. 
Hey, he's probably outside at the moment. Planning on sneaking across the St. Lawrence in your boat. Well, I don't know. I might drive it up the Ottawa. Li a lot of people are saying you need to drive up the lock system. I don't know about going up the lock system. It sounds like a long time. Also, I don't know how much I trust the two-stroke engine. It's a, it's a 1989 two-stroke, so I have no idea what kind of condition that's going to be in, but I can't say I'm terribly optimistic it's going to be around for much longer. I don't know what the uh, working lifespan of a two-stroke exactly is, but... It's definitely not as long as a four-stroke since, you know, it doesn't have the whole oiling thing. And it's also got this piece of equipment called a VRO, which is supposed to automatically mix the, the oil and the gasoline. But somebody broke it, so it's getting 25 to 1 oil mix instead of 50 to 1. So, yeah, there's a lot that needs to be sorted out. You think it's worth it? Get passenger cars for my layout, unlike the streamlined ones. So it's really a... Uh, matter of preference gonna go on a boat trip to larkspur that would be super cool to take it all the way to merrickville it uh, apparently came from smith falls so i guess it would be returning home if i if i ever got that far hey smt have you ever heard a minecraft cave sound yeah it's very eerie Run the Spirit of 76 Locomotive. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. Goes on YouTube. Let's check out recommendations. Unboxing trains on a boat. Oh, man, that would be the next... That I think that could, that could top being at the ranch. Bacon or bacon? I don't know. Unless you're talking about Canadian bacon and regular bacon, which uh, is a whole other thing. Canadian bacon. It's like, I don't know. I think a lot of people, they'd be surprised if they came over here to discover that Canadian bacon is exactly the same as American bacon. But uh, some people confuse female bacon with Canadian bacon because you know it is Canadian bacon but it's not the same it's not when you when you when you go to a restaurant and you order bacon you don't get female bacon you get regular bacon so I don't know what this whole thing about Canadian bacon being like ham it's not true it's a myth oh it started right up look at that Uh, could you run a consist of a bunch of different Canadian National F units? I'm not sure which ones have matching drive systems. Uh, I don't know if I have a whole bunch that even do. Be careful when out on the boat. Jaws like you for dinner, and perhaps watch your unboxing videos. Well, not both. I, I don't. I don't think uh, Jaws would would want to swim in the uh, Ottawa or Gatineau River, though. <laughs> Unboxing trains on a train. Yeah, I don't. If there were more in the Udaway, I probably would do that. SMT Dr. Phil got fed up with you because he got on the show. And again, this time he sent you to the water. Yeah, sending uh, Dr. Phil sending me to Turnaround Ranch was not enough, so this time I'm going to be sent to Turnaround Ottawa River. Canadian bacon and American bacon being the same, that's not true. That's impossible. Oh, but it is true. That's not good. Why did the engine just stop? Well, the current draw is not that high, but I don't trust that motor. SMT, you got a GF? No. We're working on it, though. SMT, Dr. Phil. Okay, well, I've already read that comment. I didn't know you need to get a boating license beside one of those stickers you can slap on the hull. No, you need to get a boater. If, if, if you're working with a piece of equipment that's more than 10 horsepower, you need to get a license to operate it. It's, uh, it's not 
as hard as I thought, though. I think I spent four hours on my computer, and by the end, yeah, I had a license, so that's it. But uh, you, you do learn a lot from that. Wow, about safety, things like that. Pineapple on pizza. That's delicious. Uh... Have you ever been to Illinois? I have not. Can you run a mo train? Like this? Ma mo, maintenance of the way. Yeah, I think that's what it stands for. I wish I could hook up those cars. I need to find the linkage, but yeah. SMT, it's 10 p.m. Yep. Uh, isn't ham on an egg, McMuffin, Canadian bacon? I don't think I've ever had one of those. SMT, please don't simp. No, I'm not turning into one of those. That's exactly what you want to try to avoid. Bentley Motors Limited is a British manufacturer, maker of luxury cars and SUVs, a subsidiary of Volkswagen Group since 1998. Well, interesting facts there. Uh, I thought Canadian bacon was from the back of the pig. I don't know where bacon, it, what, what part of the pig, uh, the bacon actually comes from, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what female bacon is made out of. Do you have any plans to expand the layout? Not in particular. Did you see JonTron's boat license video? I haven't. I'm a big fan of JonTron though, so I should probably go watch that. Pineapple and ham on pizza. It's called a Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, and it's fantastic. Oh, look, it started right back up on its own. Look at that. Wow. A pig fried in maple syrup is Canadian bacon. They used to cook something. Uh, you know, when I was working at, 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 at the food production factory there, and they had this one room where they were cooking everything up, and they had these big pans, and they'd throw bacon in it, and then they'd dump maple syrup over it and throw it in the oven. You used to fantasize about taking one of those pans and just running with it, you know? It's like you just decide you've had enough of this job and you just make off with the whole pan and you can have it. <laughs> uh, Canadian bacon is a small, round ham slice typically found on Mikey Diaz McMuffins. I, I don't know what people... It, it's, not, it's not like ham. It's... You, I don't even know how to describe it. It's 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 its own thing there. Can you please run the Golden Eagle? If if it will start, sure. I have to uh, dig it out a bit here. Uh, how do you take apart Ather and Blue Box locomotives? The wheels are. Uh, I mean, it, de it depends on the era, but I've, I've done quite a few videos where I've taken apart blue box equipment, so if you find one of those, it should show you how. Uh, would you go to Mexico? I've been to Mexico. It was the first, uh, first country outside of the States I'd ever been to. Yeah, two, 2000, 2006, 2006 and seven. First, uh, first Southern vacation. Oh, Tycho. Okay, let's try that other one. Something's up with this. Uh, do they have Humpty Dumpty chips in Canada? They have them here in Maine. Yeah, they do.
Hmm. I don't know if that's going to run any better. <laughs> Bentley's a bootleg Rolls Royce. Ooh. <laughs> Do you have any track cleaning cars? I've got a few of them, but I don't know. Usually just do the job manually. I just find it works better. Hi, mortals. <laughs> I'll take your entire stock. Next time you go on the Dr. Phil show, he will send you to the train Old Wild West. And if that happens again, he'll send you a car ride to the desert. I mean, Dr. Phil has a lot of places to send people, apparently. So this one seems to run... Um, it doesn't sound that great. Here, maybe if we, uh, pick it up here, it will... Yeah, it's running like trash. I, I don't know what, what happens to these engines. You let them sit for, like, a few, uh, few months on a shelf, and then, and then something changes, and they... Next time you put them on, they run, they run horribly. There's Nerf Cat. We need him. Well, I mean, I can go have a look for him. I just don't know where he is. I mean, he could he could be at the front door, but he might also be out and about. Uh, Bubba Vines, never too late on the SMT channel. Yep, that's right. I don't plan these live streams, so, uh, yeah, they happen when they do. Uh, SMT, okay, I've already read that comment. Have you ever considered traveling to Hershey, PA, the birthplace of Hershey's? I've been there lots of times. Yeah, I, me and my dad actually considered going there when we visited Scranton. Uh, we didn't end up having uh, enough time, unfortunately, but uh, it's certainly a place I would definitely can consider visiting. Uh, do you know how to run DCC engines in a different direction on the same track. I'm trying to make the down eastern or okay, I think there's I think the question was supposed to be do you know how to make DC engines run on the same track? Uh you can do it, but you need electrical blocks and two controllers. Um there are videos online how to set that up, but honestly you might be better off just getting a cheap DCC controller, uh like an old Bachman easy command, because it uh it it's it's sort of tricky. You have to have like a common rail, and then you have to wire it up a certain way. So it uh, it does get complicated. What's your favorite SD forty dash two? AWVR twelve oh six. Boxing model trains on a stream locomotive being transported on an airplane transferred. On a spaceship going to Mars. That would be a pretty epic video. Uh, what's your favorite 80s rock band? Uh, Wang Chung. Although they only have like three songs that I like. So I don't know if they're the perfect example. But I don't know. I like, they're a bit they're a bit over the top I think that's why uh is comparing Canadian bacon to regular bacon <laughs> Canadian bacon is regular bacon to uh, like comparing churro ch chorizo sausage to regular sausage it's definitely not. Come on, Tycho. What kind of internet connection do you have at home? Uh, I've got, uh, it's, it's not DSL, it's the one up from that, cable internet. Uh, it's, it's all right, I forget what the speed is. I think it's like 10 megabits on the upload and 40 on the download. No, it's 60 on the download, they, they upgraded it. It's, it's all right. Uh, SMT, can you tell us a train joke? <laughs> I wish I knew some. Uh, people have said some before on this channel. I can't think of any right now, though. 
Tyco made their motors sound so complex and strong in their instructions, but they just end up being a piece of garb. Yeah, well, they call them the, the Tyco Power Torques, which is an interesting name because it is true. Uh, you've got that, that little uh, gear there, which converts all the speed that tiny little three pole makes into torque. So they do generate a fair amount of torque for their size. But um, yeah, I know, like they, they, they celebrate having a three-pull motor and stuff like that. I mean, I like the old Tycos. They were a lot of fun to play around with there, but they were not well built um, and they were not well designed. Needs a drop of oil. Probably so, but I don't know. It's running really rough. I think the boat you have is a Cobalt Bow Rider. It's not that. Let me see if I can find the name here. Let me have a look. I, I sent I sent a link to... Uh, it's a... Uh, Cador... Caderate. It's a C-A-D-O-R-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E, bow Rider. Yes, that's it. I don't know how to pronounce that properly, though. Unboxing model trains in the Dr. Phil studio. That would be a fantastic video. Wow. That's an inspiring comment. Thank you. Your stream is a little delayed. Yeah, I get that impression. Anyway, I was thinking really moved. I was so impressed the other day. I was running this. This is my like childhood steam engine. I've had this thing for I don't know, like twelve years or something like that. Look how efficiently it's running. Like, look, it's it's not even. It's drawing like a quarter of a quarter of an amp. Like that's pretty good. Have you heard of Queen? Like under pressure, for example. Yeah, yeah, it's great, great, uh, great band. Uh, SMT, I think you should do a video uh, of one of your oldest steam locomotives where your first beginning model train and clean it out. Well, last that's pretty much what I did uh, last December. This thing, which was my childhood train, which I had gotten for Christmas of 2007. It was not running that great, so I, uh, I did a live stream where I opened it up and I fixed it up, and it's been running pretty well ever since, so really can't complain. Uh, Jeep is an American automobile brand, also a division of the FCA US LLC, formerly Chrysler Group LLC, who is a fully owned subsidiary of the Italian American Corporation Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. Yeah, and everybody knows what Fiat stands for. Fix it again, Tony. <laughs> My favorite moment on King of the Hill when <laughs> Hank's working on his truck and uh, who's, that, who's that guy there who's his friend, Daryl? I can't remember. And he's like, you know what Ford stands for? He says, fix it again, Tony. <laughs> oh, that show is great. Uh, can you, you should run the River Rossi Berkshire. Both of the Berkshires don't run right now. They both managed to break in one way or another. I think they both broke at the same time, and then I fixed them, and then they both broke individually, probably on the same day again. Uh... Ford fan on the road did <laughs> that one's pretty harsh. Uh, why do you never show your face on live streams? Uh, more important things to show. Uh, there's another acronym for Ford, but I can't say it. <laughs> I don't know what I should put on the track. I should have ran this one. Ford first on race day. I'm kidding. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Ask some of these comments. What happened with the BNSF and the CSX? Well, we already ran both of those. I didn't put them back, apparently, though. I guess they're both on the table. Let's put the CSX one on. I had a Ford Bronco F-150. They weren't bad trucks. <laughs> Uh, so everyone knows I'm driving a Ford Expedition in an extra yard van there tonight. School, seven cruel hours of our lives. <laughs> Is that what it stands for? SMT, you should get a CSX SD40-2, renumber it to 8888. Yeah, I'd like to buy one of those. Pontiac, poor old nut thought it was a Cadillac. That well, seems to be everybody's just figured out ways to insult uh, other manufacturers. How about a Halloween themed train this year? That would be exciting. Do you have any shades? Just don't number it 6666. Yeah, I feel like that, that might be. Uh, Wishing for some bad karma. <laughs> I can send in an Athern CSX SD40 2 shell if you want it. Oh, that would be great. SMT, will you get the uh, coaches for the Polar Express for the Berkshires? I wasn't planning on it. Run a Canadian National F7A. Is that the kind with the two lights or one? I think it's two. SpongeBob or Phineas and Ferb? SpongeBob! I think this is one of those F7s. Subscribed, fantastic. <laughs> Life like <laughs> I was looking to buy the new Canadian uh new Kaido uh Canadian national set, but it's quite expensive. Yeah, they're not they're not uh, too cheap. Taiko toy your cat overlooks. A 
SMT, do you have a, a Volkswagen? Yeah, I've got, got one of those Volkswagen vehicles. Hey, SMT, have you heard of the Mon Online? The Hush yeah, I've heard of that. That doesn't sound good. I mean, it's not not a terribly new engine, but these things are actually uh, fairly sound locomotives. It's a uh, second second generation lifelike, which is a lot better than the third generation lifelike, because the second generation lifelikes, although not being the most realistic of the bunch, they actually uh, had better. They had five pole motors in them, and they're a lot tougher than the three poles. And if you put enough oil in them, they're actually uh, they're all right. Your engine needs lubrication. Yeah, a lot of that sound you're hearing though is not coming from the gearbox. It's just vibration the motor's making. So it's actually okay. I've got a lot of uh, second generation life likes. They all sound practically the same. You need to oil them properly though, otherwise they don't. Uh, they're not very good speed wise. Like this one can, this one has a, a slipping uh, drive shaft there, but if it wasn't lubricated properly, it wouldn't wouldn't be able to uh, wouldn't be able to go that fast. Uh, SMT, I released a video of my second birthday, and you'll never believe what I saw. Apparently, the Hershey factory had its own switcher. I, I saw that video on your channel, actually. I think I commented on it. Um, yeah, Hershey had a uh, small uh, kind of rail car tractor that they used to use at the factory. And I guess when they closed it, they took it to a scrapyard and somebody found it there and they retrieved it. Uh, so it's now at the uh, railway museum uh, at Smith Falls. So it's good that that survived. I have to go visit that museum one day, though. Take a photo of it or something like that. Not bad. That scene engine is flying around the layout. I have to get one of my faster uh, second generation life likes. Yeah, it's uh, it's an older engine though. I can even I can feel a tiny bit of heat right here. It's running for uh, yeah I don't know o over a quarter of an amp. SMT make a video. Oh boy, got a lot of spam in here. SMT, can you name the railway, uh, the NC railway for Nerf Cat, which is what NC stands for? I don't know. You have requests for the police train. All right. I think this might have had a problem last time. I don't know. Let's see if it goes. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, all the memories of this. I have to find that video there, like eastbound and down and stuff like that, where you got, uh, what's it called there? You know, the uh, BNSF trains and they're dodging this thing. It's so funny. This is not a good coupler. Yeah, there you go. Camaro or Mustang? Mustang! Do you have any tips on starting a layout? Uh, figure out what it is that you want, I would say. Make a, make a list on all the things you want and go from there. Have you not seen Mustang drivers? <laughs> yeah, I have seen those as a matter of fact. Another uh, common occurrence in, uh, in in Gatineau. You see way more of those than you do the Lamborghinis and they're, and they're just driving around there and you know, you get on the on the on the on the highway and they're just zipping around there but 
you know, you, you, you gotta have you gotta have something to contend with one of those, right? Do the daylight set. Yeah, I can't run the daylight set because the, the, the 4449 doesn't run. Any CNW. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Fix the 4449. <laughs> oh, I've tried. It, uh, I mean, I did get it running again, so I guess I'll call that some sort of victory. But the thing is, is that uh, the wheels are unquartered or something like that, and they're binding, and that's a big problem for steam engines. So, yeah, I don't know. It, it might, it might be, it might be finished with. And I also had to remove some parts because Bachman did not do a good job putting those things together. It had a lot of issues. Bachman or Lifelike? Oh, Team Lifelike. Lifelike was way better. I mean, uh, I know a lot of people would argue that uh, by the end, what Lifelike was putting in their starter sets was not as good as Bachman, but uh, and that's that's actually true. Their engines were better, but frankly, their sets were being sold uh, for cheaper than Bachman's, and uh, they've they they built them better. When you want to talk about the Kadar drive systems, the Lifelike ones are better because they don't have the nylon gears, and uh, they uh, they. They just have a tendency just to last a lot longer because they also don't have those pivots which cracked the nylon gears. So they were built better. And power lock track was, it's always been better than easy track. So yeah, team life like any day. Life like trains are underrated. Changed my mind. I, I get why a lot of people didn't like them. I mean, they were not great quality, but at the same time, they weren't selling them for all that much, so I cut them some slack. Frankly, I've got tons of lifelikes from uh, when I was a, a kid, and I have some other ones, and, and they all ran fine. Uh, they're, they're, they're far from the best, but, you know, even like Proto, those are pretty well-built engines because they're pretty much Ather and Blue Box clones, so they're... Uh, you know, the blue boxes are really tough, so you, you make clones of those and they're going to be similar. But they weren't as good as the blue boxes because they used thinner gears and they used nylon gears. So they uh, also had cracking just like the Bachman ones. But other than that, like this is this is an old proto right here. You can see right there, it's a lifelike. And uh, this is a very tough engine. It's never given me any problems. I found a lifelike with a Canmore and thought that that was kind of crazy. Well, it, it might have been a proto. Run a GP38 high hood. I don't know what one of those is. I like Kato the best. Kato makes, makes very good stuff. And you can find some Kato stuff for like a hundred bucks, which is not that bad if you want a really decent engine. So yeah, quite quite like uh, quite like Kato. Are you going to get the TNF range by uh, Bachman or Hornby? Probably not either. I don't know. Unless I start up a division of SMT mainline, I don't really want to touch that stuff. Set your worst locomotive. Yeah, we need to start a competition for the worst locomotive challenge. Although I think people might struggle to beat uh, the one that I have. I, 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 I thought I just had it in front of me there. I don't know. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> I don't know what the original owner did to this thing. I think they must have had what are those things called there? And not, not I want to say an angle grinder. You know what I'm talking about there? The small things people use to cut stuff anyway. And they sawed off the back of the train for some reason. They somehow removed one of these. I don't even know how you would do that. Uh, and uh, all the handrails and everything else, it's all it's all gone, and the ladders are gone. Uh, and this ran horribly when I got it. I don't, it didn't even run when I first got it, and then the hobby shop was able to get it going. But when I got better at fixing stuff, I eventually uh, did the best tuning I could on it. And, uh, I mean, that's not really bad for an engine that didn't cost me anything, but, uh, I don't know. It's not good. <laughs> 
I like this engine, though. I mean, heck, it's even quick on its heels. We should all destroy a loco and give it to SMT to see if he can fix it. Oh boy, I don't want that. Which defunct store would you bring back? I don't know. I want to see what, what the best creep this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, all the, the model train snobs out there. Oh, you need to spend uh, five hundred dollars to get a loco which is capable of creeping. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll I'll be honest. This is not a good creep. It's not that smooth. But at the same time, um, that's not bad. I mean, it's not it's not even stalling out. Look, it's just it just keeps going. Team life, like everyone. Whoops. Huh. Dandy. Bring back life, like yeah, exactly. That's what we need back. We need uh, another company that Bachman can contend with, and then they'll sort out their prices, and the model train market for beginners will be made a thousand times better overnight. It, it would be wonderful if life, like came back. You know what? I'd, I'd, if they were rolling, if they, if Life Like came back and they were making the products that they were, and the price was right, you know what? I think I'd advertise for them for free. But they'd have to be selling it at the right price, though. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I wouldn't want to create two Bachmans, but we only need one. Uh. Should you fix a real locomotive to see if the train doctor skills are trained enough to fix them? Yeah, because a real engine definitely operates the same as a model. If Life Flight came back, they may be better than before. Uh, watch Rapido got the Life Flight molds to bring Life Flight back. Uh, I I don't think I don't think Rapido would want to bring Life Flight back. You heard of Metro? Yeah, I have. Where's the Canadian film stick? The Canadian film stick's right here. Imagine if Lifelike was like cheap Walters. Yeah, I, I can only imagine if Lifelike had been bought out by a company like Walters, what it would look like. It, it would almost be like if a company like Walters bought them out, they wouldn't change anything with them for a while, uh, and then they would end up ending... <laughs> okay, I, I, I think, I think, I think it's back. Hmm, I don't know. SMT, how good is Kato? I would say pretty good. I haven't had a bad experience with one of their products. They seem to be well built. They certainly run well. This is a uh, Walters. This is a fine engine. Not the uh, most detailed of the bunch, but Man, okay. this this was one of my first trains, you know. Yeah, it's not bad for the low speed. It's quiet too. You can barely hear anything from there. How good is Walter's life like? Well, Walter's life like is just life like again. I mean, they bought out the brand, but now it's all Proto. But Proto has always been pretty good in my experience. But I don't think Walter's is selling those for terribly cheap. So I don't know how how great they are. I'd have to see what their prices compare like to Bachman. As if they do, that's probably what I should be rem uh, recommending to beginners because they I think they'd be probably better sets than. Uh, than the Bachman ones. McDonald's or Chick-fil-A? I've never been to a Chick-fil-A before, so I couldn't say. Mm. 
I'm going to bed. Don't get into some shenanigans. It's funny, we're talking about lifelike. My first engine was a lifelike Proto 2000 45 F45 Cal unit. I have a Walters locomotive. Proto 2000, they're built pretty much identically. Same motor, but the Walters runs a little better. Yeah, I find that interesting though, because I'm pretty sure, I don't know if Walters has changed their manufacturing style, but I'm pretty sure this thing actually uses pickup by wiper, which uh, I've never really been a big fan of myself because I found it's not been reliable, but it's been pretty good in this engine. So yeah, I don't know. Probably been to Tim Hortons. I've probably been to Tim Hortons almost every day of my life. I had there so much. Uh, have you ever thought of getting an Ather and SD90 Mac? Not in particular. SMT, you should leave the camera, go upstairs so we can prank him. You want me to leave the camera downstairs so that you can prank me? So you want me to set myself up, basically. Yeah, that sounds good. Yes, put up the Canadian film stick. Oh, of course, that's a great idea. It would keep things way more stable. Let me go fetch that. Ladies and gentlemen, the Canadian film stick. Now everybody doesn't need to take a, uh, a car nausea pill before they watch my live streams because we've got the Canadian film stick doing all the stability work here. Let me just sort this out a little bit. Uh, okay, yes, there we go. Wonderful, look at that. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I used the term serenity on this channel before, but I don't think it's ever been so true than on the Canadian film stick. The Vietnam broomstick. <laughs> what? How are you going to prank him? Yeah, see, Jack Jack is uh, way ahead of uh, whoever's trying to prank me there. Plus, I also never left, so I'm, you know, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't set myself up there, so I can keep an eye on the chat. Because last time, what everybody tried to do, uh, I think Ottawa put this whole thing together, which was everybody was going to tell me when I came back that. My audio was wor was broken, it wasn't working and stuff like that, just to mess with my mojo. And uh, it didn't end up working because it just seemed a, a little bit too perfect. And also I was saying stuff which people weren't supposed to be able to hear me and uh, it was a bit too in context. So uh, yeah, that, that didn't go so well. Your bombardiers are really rare. Yeah, I don't know, it's what some, peop some people seem to think. I don't really know what, the what they're worth. I was at that stream. It was Ottawa. I was there. I knew it was Ottawa. Trying to conspire against me there. That guy, I swear. I'm just putting a few more of these. Uh, whoop. And so we've got a little bit more variety. And I don't know what you'd call this. Uh, oh, whoop. It's falling off again. There we go. Via fiasco. Let's derail the train by using telepathic skills. That's a great idea. Athern or Bachman? Athern. Looks like the uh, Athern is a, a little bit faster than the other one. 
Then the uh, then the Rapido there. Yep, looks like the. Uh, I wonder if those are gonna couple. Yeah, they're they're running as they're running as a set now. Oh well. Your oh, uh, your Go Transit Bombardier cars are from two thousand nine. It's worth five hundred. What? Those are worth five hundred dollars? Oh, well, that can't be it. Oh, we got a super chat, Mad Lad 04. Can you run this DD48? Yeah, sure, we can put that on there. There we go there, mad lad. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yes, there we are. People go nuts for the Athrum Bombardier. Yeah, I don't. I just got them as a kid, so I don't really know much about them. I'm gonna go on eBay right now and see if that's true. That didn't sound so good. I don't think the ones I have would probably be worth uh, anything like that because they're not in very good shape anymore. But let's see. Athern Go Train. Athern Go Train cars. $500. Let's have a look here. Hmm. I'm not seeing any listings on eBay right here. Let's try Bombardier cars. Oh, wow, yeah, these are expensive. I'm just looking right here. That one's going for 76, 76. That one's going for 80 bucks. Wow. What the heck? Well, I don't know. Let's see. There's $76 each, and you got $10 shipping, so that's like $86 on each of them. I got four of the little devils. Yeah, so you could buy a whole lot on eBay for uh, around that, plus you'd have to pay taxes. So yeah, those are worth a lot more than I thought. Wow. All right. Well, that's good to know. I think they'll resolve in produce more. Yeah, they'll probably end up make more. Last time SMT is on Dr. Phil, he will be sent to the fake Bermuda Triangle made by Trying and Hornby. Yes, the... What the heck is going on here? <laughs> well, there we go. That's a lovely combination right there. Here, we need to... We need to get this just right here. Found a pack of three for 550. I mean, it might just be eBay because sellers on eBay like to screw around with prices right there. So that might be just them going at it again. But still, I didn't think they were worth that much. Oh, here they come. Wow, oh, isn't that tremendous? I know a lot about Bombardier cars and about your cars. Oh, apparently so. Gee, I need to teleport. I need to get a time machine to go back to the 2000s, and I need to buy up the entire market of those and then sell them on eBay in the future. Yeah, eBay sellers, they're like real pirates. <laughs> yeah, well, they're not really pirates because, I mean, people are deciding to buy their stuff. They're not the most moral folk out there. I think somebody might be able to make the uh, argument out there that uh, not all of them are maybe pricing stuff as fair as they should be, but 
I mean, they're just doing that because that's what people are paying for them in some cases. So, I don't know. Can you really blame them? Uh, hey, I'm an eBay seller, not a pirate. And <laughs> somebody deleted the message. <laughs> oh. Oh, we got another super chat. Oh, here, here's the, here's, we got a, uh, what does it say here? Uh, do those old signals in front work? And do you like freight or passenger more? Uh, I think I'm probably more of a fan of freight trains. It's not that I don't like passenger trains, but I don't know. They're just a bit rougher, I guess. Uh, they do work. They don't blink, though. But we'll put in the, we'll try to plug in or something like that. I don't know. I think it's this wire here. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, they light up, but they don't blink. But anyway, thank you for the super chat. SMT's getting rich off of super chats. Yeah, 14, so you divide that by 2, and... Uh, I don't know, you get like... Uh, a, a good a good number here. My brain's not functioning so well right now. Seven plus seven is fourteen, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you get seven because Google comes along and there's a reason Google likes super chats. It's because they take half of that. So if you post a super chat, they come along and they say yes, thank you very much. And in exchange, we will give you better performance. <laughs> Google snatches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> These look kind of eerie from a distance. I can't I can't describe why, but if your brain isn't functioning right now, imagine what you'll be like when you're my age. Uh, it doesn't always function this way, though. I think it's just because it's, like, late and stuff like that. At least that's what I hope. I don't know. Usually I think I know how to divide 14 in half. <laughs> Usually. Oh, no. Why am I seeing things? <laughs> do you have Florida East Coast? I do not. Worst railroad ever. I think a lot of people would probably say the Penn Central. Have you graduated yet? Yeah, I have. Graduated high school. Some that that went well actually. That wasn't bad. It looks so good with all the lights and all the structures running in the dark. Have you ever seen the movie Wayne's World? No, I want to watch that one. I've seen the intro to it. It's got Bohemian Rhapsody in it. It looks like a great movie. And there's also Garth, too. I think I'm going to dress up as Garth for next Halloween. I feel, I feel like that'd be, that'd be good. You know, I don't there's going to be any Halloween parties, so it's probably not worth it this time, but this is way cool. I, I yeah, I like, I like the downtown. That, that looks kind of interesting. 
I didn't even know this building was lit. Wow, look at that. Gotta take cautious steps, because of course I can't see all the obstacles on the ground that usually I'd be able to spot, but you know. I'm just gonna walk over. Oh, yeah, I almost tripped over the Canadian film stick. That would have been dumb. Cool. Oh. I don't know if I dim the lights on this. I'm just gonna move the Canadian film stick over and turn it down to the ground. If, uh, if now people will be able to see in there, you kind of can a little bit. But uh, there's a there's a fully furnished cafe in there. That's something I always love to show people. <laughs> ah yes. Turn on the signal. Oh yeah, the lights might work actually. Let me see about that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, green is gone. I yeah, haven't seen those on in a while. Took me and my dad and Eon to wire those up. Oh man. Oh, the green works. Look at that. It just started back up again. I think the switches are. Not in the greatest shape. Probably dirty from not being used. And yeah, the red kind of keeps going out, but... Oh, I like that. Cool. The flickering of street lamps in SMT Town, Quebec. I think it's Dunderville, but yeah. Something, something meaningful. I uh, wish I could say the same for the industrial side. Things are not so bright there, but I spend a lot of time wiring up stuff there. I should figure out how to get that all running again. Oh, one more thing. If I move over here, uh, kind of this way. I think I furnished the, yeah, I did. I furnished the inside of the uh, ace as well. It's hard to see, but there's actually stuff on the shelves. It, uh, it came with that, but I colored it all in. Looks way better in person. Neon G4, me gameplay. I'm new. Welcome. Run the O gauge. Eh, probably shouldn't. It's getting late. I think I'm gonna end off the live stream. Nice Ace hardware. Uh, I wish it was an Ace hardware. It's an Ace supermarket which life like made made it ace after uh i think before that it was a 7-eleven and uh they changed it oh ace yeah i know a supermarket oh what the heck Okay, well, anyway, I think that's probably uh, enough for this stream. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining. It's been a fun time here. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody uh, joining in this evening. Anyway, have a great night, everyone.